I'm a second year student studying uh, BTEC in Sport and Exercise Science, uh, it's a level three uh, diploma. Um, I've also finished my um, second year of AS, A2 Psychology, um, so last year I did my ASs in Sport, Psychology and Business Studies. I did a two week placement um, at Chichester Uni. I worked with um, one of the lecturers, uh, the senior lecturers at Chichester who is called Dr Tim Holder. He's um, an experienced sports psychologist himself. He works with the um, GB synchronised women team up in Aldershot. So um, I actually got the chance to go with him to some of their training sessions and observe what he does with them and the work that he does and how it benefits them in their performance. Um, from my, work, my two week work experience I have got a really good insight into what a sports psychologist actually does and how to get there, so the routes that I need to go down um, in order to become a sports psychologist and to become accredited. Um, well, I started diving when I was nine. Um, I went into diving through the talent identification program. Uh, so that's um, the clubs went around schools and chose children that they think could be good at diving. Um, so it's kind of like a fast track onto the ladder, um, the Olympic ladder really. Um, from that I started to compete nationally from about the age of 11. Um, continue to do that every year. Um, I think it was 2009 I um, qualified for Europeans um, so I got the chance to go to Hungary and compete for Great Britain. Um, I managed to come fourth in that competition uh, which was a big achievement for me. I also coach uh, diving so I'm currently a level one coach. Um, I feel very flattered that I've been nominated. I didn't expect it at all. Um, I think it's a great thing to be nominated for and um, just a really good feeling really.